check it out. Here we are in Sweden um, in the, I don't even know what that's called. I'm Alex, the head instructor at 4-Week Natural, conducting programs in Stockholm and Sydney in 2017. Glare in my eye, good sun for the video. And I wanted to talk to you about key concept that we've been having here at the end of our programs on 4-Week uh, Natural here in Stockholm. About three and a half weeks in, I started to have a situation where all my students were having the same problem. Now, we're doing a, pro a program that's 36 days of cold approach pickup. And the guys are going out, they're learning to approach, they're learning social dynamics, they're learning verbal skills, they know how to work with the group, they know to leave with girls at the end of the night. They know everything, okay? Emotionally, they're very relaxed by this stage. But then we come across a very distinct problem that, the, that happens to most students and is gonna be happening to some of the readers right now. You get, you get to a situation where you can talk to anybody, you can approach anybody, you can deal with bullshit, you can re-approach, Complicated dynamics don't stress you, guys coming into the sets don't stress you. And all of a sudden, because you feel so competent in your game, sorry for my, my squinting by the way, I'm gonna go get my style, check this out. Huh? That's better for me, okay? Get the good old foldy, foldy sunglasses. Because you become so competent and you get a sense of abundance with your game, you don't really push for the close, okay? So your game and your approaching gets really, really good. You get very, very experienced and capable. You can talk to anybody. You can get 25 phone numbers, 10 makeouts, but why are you not closing? That's because you forget what it's like for the girls that you're talking to, for how they normally get picked up. How does a girl in a nightclub normally get picked up if she's between the age of like 18 and 25, right? A guy with no fucking idea who spends all of his month's savings at Joe and the Juice on clothing and on a haircut gets really fucking drunk. One girl gives that guy half a chance. He's like, yes, an opportunity. And he will desperately harass and chase and embarrass himself in order to get that girl's attention because he's like probably literally desperate, right? And that's how the normal non-game, non-four-week natural guys do it. That's how the guys of the world get girls. They get desperate, they chase the girl, they get in the girl's face, they, they suck. But at least that's what girls have come to expect. Now this is not good. This is not good to harass girls and get drunk and be stupid and be immature. That's why you're watching these videos to be higher value and higher consciousness and have a better understanding of game. But here's the discrepancy, is that you're falling down in that you don't even compare to what a girl's used to when it comes to closing to what you're doing. You're, I know what you're thinking, right? You're thinking, I'm cool, I spoke well, I got her phone number, I made out with her. She's partying, she's getting more drunk, she's getting a little bit more horny. She's, it becomes even more risky, you know, later at night if she's gonna go off into the middle of nowhere with some random guy. So there needs to be a kind of uh, lifted liability. There needs to be a situation where the girl is kind of like willing to do whatever and kind of take that risk and go to somebody's random home if she's gonna hook up. And the desperate guy, the desperate chode of the world is gonna lose his mind, pay money, get drunk, get her drunk, buy taxis, fucking desperate in our eyes. But from the girl's point of view, she feels valued. She feels desired, she feels sought after, she feels chosen and chased and whatever. And at that stage of the night, late at night when there's alcohol flowing, and people are you know, immature at the best of times, way less mature at that stage of the night, that's what she envisions it might look like. And then she can blame the guy. The guy did it, the guy wanted me. I mean, she wanted to have sex. She wanted to get some action. She wanted to feel gorgeous in her lingerie back at home. She wanted it to be messy and crazy and intimate and yet passionate sex. But she doesn't want to have any of the responsibility. So for people who are watching no reason you're not enough, and social encrypted, and doing my four week natural, you gotta realize that you're falling down in this part of your game because you don't remember what it's like from the girl's point of view when the desperate guy has one chance of love every four months the way that he would approach that chick. And sad to say, guys like that, average everyday guys who dress well, study hard, and you know don't aspire too much in life, they push harder than guys who learn game. They push, they follow through, they reapproach. okay? So what am I asking of you? I'm not saying be desperate. I'm, I'm also saying that 
if you reapproach and really express your desires to want to go home with a girl in a passionate, 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 borderline desperate way, that makes the girl feel special. By you showing some vulnerability that you really, 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 really want her and want to spend the night with her and want to leave with her and you, you know, you're really emotionally invested in her at the end of the night, that's you showing a degree of humility, that's you showing some scarcity, that's you opening yourself up to be hurt in a way that she certainly will open herself up to be hurt if she goes goes and does something intimate with you. So it's important to to realize how you weigh up and how you compare to the average everyday desperate, desperate chode who does have a sense of entitlement because he goes to a good school, dresses well, goes to the gym, whatever. You need to not make yourself fade to nothing at the end of the night compared to what she expects. And if you add that part to your game, a kind of persistence, like many, many, many requests to go home, physicality, expressions of desire, expressions of want, little expressions of desperation, they do have their place there at the end of the evening. And you could say things like, uh, things like, I only want you, I'm desperate. You can say, I'm desperate for you. I really fucking want to go home with you. I really want you right now. You could be my only chance for love. Fuck, I want you so bad. You're allowed to show that kind of thing to show that you're vulnerable and that's gonna help the girl to accept going along with you there at the end of the night at that time. So, ask yourself, how does your closing game compare to the closing game of a desperate show, okay? Because that's what girls, normally socially conditioned girls, are used to in this world. Cool, I'm Alex. I'm Alex from Four Week Natural, I'm the coach. I'm gonna be two, doing two coaching programs here in beautiful Stockholm in 2017. Two coaching programs in Sydney in 2017. And you know what that means? That means there's only 40 positions in the entire world that can work with me in 2017. Why? Because I'm gonna focus on the day game program, which is gonna be sick. It's gonna be a whole lot of day game pickups and a whole lot of phone game follow throughs. And I can only meet girls in daytime, airports, train stations, libraries, bookshops, uh, after work drinks bars, which is a whole unknown art that we're going to share with you, and and uh, I'm going to be delivering all the text game that goes along with that as well. So subscribe to the channel, stay up with the uh, the work that I'm doing here, the ideas. We got Facebook, we got Instagram. I'm going to be continuing to come to you, hopefully a little bit less glary in the future, and a little bit less exhausted from all the debriefs that I'm doing. Alex Squinting from Stockholm. Subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Cool, man.